nervous, anxious, worried, <laughs> scared, and a little bit excited. <laughs> you should be a lot excited. Just got off the ferry in Fort William. This is Cape Raft Trail, attempt one, <laughs> 2022. Attempt. Let's see how we do. It's going to be great. We're going to make it. We've got four weeks to do it. Hopefully we'll do it in three. Oh, there's midges already. Ah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Wish us luck. That could be Ben Nevis. We're about two minutes in. Got any blisters yet? No. <laughs> any midge bites? our first little burn, waterfall. Where's it running into, Lisa? Into Over there. We're about a mile in. We're on a lovely tarmac road. Fair few cars coming past and vans. So we've come to a tree with painted stones. And we've seen this. Be kind. And I think we've got our own one. We have. The ceremonial placing of the stone. <laughs> I'm just going to say it's a special stone that my daughter gave to me that she picked up. It says Lisa and Neil, Cape Wrath Trail 2022. So we're going to put it right there. And it's a little lover. For lovers of the Cape Wrath Trail. Yay. He's in good company. Ooh. And that means that we turn right there and don't go straight on. I saw a red squirrel. Did you see it, Lisa? I did. <laughs> I just saw a red squirrel, Neil. Did you see it? <laughs> Gone up the trees. Now it's gone. Come to this nice wooden bridge, bit of a waterfall. It's cool, it's breezy, there's no midges. We're thinking of going and dipping our feet for five minutes. Little paddle of the feet. Hello, froggy. So, so far, we've seen that wonderful view. We've seen a red squirrel. We've seen some highland cows. And we've seen froggy froglington. We have. And we wouldn't have seen that if we'd have stayed on our armchairs at home. <laughs> no. <laughs> so where we are now, I've been reliably informed by Map Girl is the Kona Glen. And I don't know, I think we're about eight miles into the trek so far. Yeah, eight or nine. Following the Kona River. Kona River's just on our left there. That'll be where we dipped our feet earlier then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a wire bridge there. Ooh, I don't fancy it right now, but we luckily we don't have to. And that is part of where we've come from. Up the Kona Glen, along the Kona River. We've walked about 12 miles. 
bit of a wind so there's no midges and we've come across Coralach Boffy that's our tent there five past eight I've got my hule in my pot the radio is useless it won't pick up any signal I've uh, got my grail oh and I've got my grail water press there and I went down there and got a good water supply this place I think we've got the only flat place to camp that's it mm -hmm. so if we got here and someone else was already there we'd have had to carry on up that path so we're gonna have a look at where we are where did we start off Fort William here got the yeah. ferry across Kama Snaggle, Snaggle. Yep. And we walked all down this road, all the way down road. Loch Linny. Turned right at the stones, the coloured stones, yeah. See, yeah. And then onto this four by four track that went all along the river Kona. Just that wire bridge. And all the way up to here. And we're at this boffy. And they say it's pretty much flat the whole way, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There's maybe a little bit of undulation, but not not too much. Yep. And we have mm -hmm. hot chocolate. Nice. Mm. Chin chin. <laughs> Nighttime viewing. No license needed. Huh? We got rain. Half past nine. Mm -hmm. Outside the boffy. I can hear the sound of this rain will send me off to sleep. Mm. It's daylight. <laughs> I know it's daylight. It's <laughs> mad. Good morning. Day two of the Cape Raft Trail. We got battered by the rain last night. Absolutely chucked it down for about eight hours. The tent held out, which is good. Um, there's midges. Fair few midges about. Not clouds of them, but we uh, got packed up in the in the tent. And um, my bag's over there. Lisa's just packing up. And then we'll think about what we want to do for breakfast. And um, the sun looks like it's coming out. There's a few cracks in the sky which looks good and the next stop for us today is Glenfinnan we're going to go into the town and uh, get a cup of tea there can I live without the midget today? yeah it's not bad <laughs> oh. carry on as we mean to continue <laughs> stinking and leave no trace there we go okay off we go to Glenfinnan. What? What have I done? What day is it today, Neil? It's your birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lisa. Thank you. Another year younger. Very much so. So as we leave the boffy, would you like to tell us how it feels to be another year older and deeper in debt? <laughs> deeper in debt. Cheeky. 
I don't have any debt. Oh, fair play to you. <laughs> That's not how everyone in the world would like to spend their birthday. Oh, no, I love it. Best birthday ever. This is our first, first mountain view of the day of the Kona Glen. As we chip along this path, before we turn right up into Glenfinnan. So far on this trip, and we're not even 24 hours in, we've seen a red squirrel. Red squirrel. A frog. A frog or a toad. Some um, deer. Oh, yes, a deer. And the highland heifers. Highland heifers. And midges. Oof. Wee beasties. A few wee beasties. And now. Just seen her! Ada! Yay! Little and we, snake! And we wouldn't have seen any of that. <laughs> Go on. If we sat on our couches at home. We would not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's our first river crossing, Lisa. It is. I'll go first just to check. <laughs> uh oh. Right, I made it. Let's see if you can do it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Second river crossing. So about two miles after the Bothy we stayed at, I think we've come across the first good camping spot here um, by that tree. These are three guys from Poland come over to do the hike. Going alright so far? Yeah, sure. Cool. <laughs> right, we're going that way. come from three and a half miles back there is the boffy and this looks like the second good camping spot someone's camped there last night by the looks of things it's just as the path turns round to the left and then goes back round to the right to uh, go up to Glenfinnan this is quite a steep climb but it's okay not too boggy This might be the last we see of the Kona River. Because we're about to go up there and turn right. We climbed up that hill from Kona Valley for a bit less than an hour, maybe 45 minutes. We saw sort of cutting it through a mountain pass now. It's reasonably flat, a little bit undulating. It's quite nice. And I'm thinking, we might just find a descend down into Glenfinnan soon, I don't know. I would imagine that anyway. We're going this way. Well, that is beautiful. That's a lovely sight. Nice and gradual down. No screen, nothing too tricky. And a reasonably, and a good well-defined path. Smashing. Do it without laughing. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a hopefully simple little river crossing to navigate now. When you get to this sign, you just come down a path past uh, a white house. That's the way the Cape Raft Trail goes. But apparently at the end of there, three and a half kilometers, there is a complete end of path. It's barred off, you can't get through. So that's what we've been told. So we're gonna go over there, over the bridge and take the road into Glenfinnan. But down there, this is about 20 miles from the start. If you wanted to camp just before Glenfinnan, 
just down there there's a little campfire and that's about the only there's not that many places to camp once you get um past the Kona Valley the Kona Glen I should say so we have to walk down the road for a bit into Glen Finnan is the Glen Finnan monument the end of stage one of the Cape Raft Trail and the start of stage two of the Cape Raft Trail. <laughs> and that's Loch Shiel. And behind us over there somewhere is the Harry Potter viaduct, which we're going to go and have a look at after we've had something to eat. That's the visitor centre. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Up a bit. What was the first thing you heard when you woke up this morning? Um, the birds chirping. And me singing happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Lisa. Happy birthday to you. I've heard a second time. Thank you. Yeah, but this sounds with a beer. Yeah. <laughs> but no food. Don't get any wow. food. Always one of them. Mm. You get here and the bar finished lunches at 4.30 and doesn't start serving dinner till or whenever. So we've just missed food, but we've got our own food. We'll cook up when we pitch up. This is the, the path coming out of Glenfinnan, walking up towards Corrie Holly Boffy. We're just shy of Corrie Holly Boffy. We met the uh, estate ranger, I said there was two girls pitched in there, so we thought we'd leave them be. And we've got this lovely little riverside spot here. What are we having, Lisa? Hot chocolate. Well, I'm having a white chocolate. You've got a Cadbury's into hot chocolate. And then... Guess what? <laughs> you! <laughs> Which one are you having? I'm having chicken and mushroom. Oh, I've got coma today. Ah, it's quarter past eight in the evening. It's a nice little bench we've got here, isn't it? It is, it's really sweet. Just opposite our, t our tent there. Yes, this will do just nice. We started our day at the Koralach Boffy. And then we went all along the Kona Glen and the Kona River, um, all the way to here where we took a ride. And this terrain was really, really steep-ish. <laughs> and then all the way up here where it wasn't that boggy and this was quite nice and flat really. And we were surrounded by loads of mountains. It was really nice. This came down, all the way down to um, this car park where we were not couldn't go down this section because the bridge to get into Glen Fernand was closed. So we had to take this little bit here and then along the road, which wasn't great. But anyway, we got there, had a little look round, went to the viaduct, saw the Jacobite, and then went all along the river, um, the Glen Finan River, and we are now pitched just about here, just before the Corrahulli Bothy.
you've boarded day three of our Cape Rush trail. This is my morning wake up view. Morning. Morning. Lisa's got the river. Good morning, my neighbours. What a beautiful place to wake up. It chucked it down all night long. It did not stop raining. But now as we get up, it stopped. That's where we camped. Now we're heading off to the first boffy. Let's have a look at it. It's called... Um, Corahulli. I don't know, am I? Yeah. Corahulli boffy. Mm -hmm. We're going to go in there, maybe charge some stuff up and then we're going to the, what I'm calling the sneezy boffy. <laughs> What's it called? Achoo! Achoo <laughs> boffy. But we'll find somewhere to camp there maybe. We'll see how the time goes. It's about 10 miles to get to there. Mm -hmm. Corrie Hully boffy. Let's take a peek inside. Oh, hello. Hey, it's our Polish pals from down the road. <laughs> Did you sleep in here last night? Yeah. That's okay, isn't it? I thought we were a little meet you here. So. Oh, you, you probably passed our tent on the way. Scotland, you are extracting the Michael. Down the hill there, beautiful sunshine, taps off, 10 paces up, rain comes out, raincoats on, then the sun comes out. And then you look around you. Hey! Well, now the sun's out again. I'm not complaining. So the climb from Corrie Hully Boffy up to the woods near a chill. It's fairly gradual. It's not a killer quite nice it's not boggy it's very stony 4x4 four four track is this a 4x4 four four track yeah. it cuts through two hills mountains Monroe's Monroe. sun's out it's all good lots of these burns and waterfalls This path gets steeper as you get to the top, but we're nearly there.
conveniently. So we're on the left side of the river, making our way down to the woods at the bottom of here, and then onto a chul. Come all the way down there after the climb from Corrie Hulley, Bothy. We followed the river on the left. There's nowhere to camp, but I thought I'd film this little bit here because here, if you were stuck, you could throw your tent down here. It's the only bit though. I wouldn't rely on camping on this section between Corrie Hulley and Achul. Found a second good camping ground. Just as the, uh, the river S's round here. Good to know. You've got bogs and then marsh bits. You have, you have got bits of both. And then there's good paths as well. There's some good paths along it as well. And you can avoid the bogs yeah. by stepping carefully. And what we do they're is... Not, I don't think they're bogs. I think they're, that's where the river is flowing from the tops and they've created this crevice. And then you put your stick down like this one. I just did this bit. Mm. You put your stick down there. Can you see that? Right. It goes down quite far. That's not the deepest bit. Where was the deepest bit? That one. Whoa! So my pole's gone right down there. Yeah. So I wouldn't want my foot going down there. You can hear it, can but you, before you come to it. You can hear you the can. of water just underneath. So. But it's not too bad, and this is on the way to Achul. It is. And what I do is it takes a while, but as I'm stepping forward, I put my pole down like that, give it a tap, and then I step on it. It takes longer, but I would say been helicoptered off in two weeks in hospital <laughs> is going to take longer. Well we Think thought we that. saw a path. <laughs> I'm not sure what we're doing. You just got to make your own way and this happens to be our way. Well we're riverside again. It's a kind of a path. It's good fun. Just got to be careful. So we've made it down. Through the mire and the bog and the sludge. Well, this is where we're going into these woods now. The River Pian. Watch your step. way to a chul boffy there's a couple of places that you could camp you can't quite make it like this one at the side of the road we've eyed up one or two but it's still quite early so we're trying to go a little bit further come out of those woods there and we're just following the path round and then we turn to our right and we go ah that must be a chul boffy there's a looks like tents down there. So we're gonna go down and check it out. There's another house over there. And then the path tomorrow we have to go th through to get to Sowerleys takes us through these woods. So let's go check out a Chulboffy. We've come out of the woods. Instead of carrying on the path, take an immediate right down this little marshy path where Lisa's going. And the Bothy's just at the bottom here. A Chulboffy. Smoke coming out the chimney, so there's people in. Let's go see what it looks like. Hey! Hey guys! How you doing? Yeah, you got food on? Ah, this is a chill boffy. Room. You've got where? Yeah. Where are you? Ah, outside the We're thinking of doing the same thing. Yeah. Because there's five five Polish guys yeah, coming on. <laughs> I'm just making this little look around for my video. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Yeah, oh, we could camp in here though. Yeah, but as you said, like this place. Yeah. The problem would be here. We all got tents. They're behind us. Ah, they got tents. Yeah, we got tents. They got tents. How was your day? Good. Yeah, really. Can I have a little look in here? Hi man. Oh, you got a nice fire going. Very nice. Yeah, I 
So this is the end of stage two and tomorrow is the start of stage three. So the end of stage two is the Achul Boffy, according to Cicerone book. And that's our little pitch by the side of Achul Boffy. These are our Polish friends we keep running into, getting the firewood yeah. sorted out. Hey guys, that's it. So end of stage two, start of stage three tomorrow. And this is our third camp, so the end of our third day. We're going to go in to the boffy now and make a bit of food. How's your hair look? <laughs> How's my hair look? <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> so that's the end of our third day. I know. You having fun? Yeah. Should we quit? No, oh, this is silly. <laughs> the challenge is amazing and, you know, I don't know, today has just been really challenging. But what, that's the whole point of it, isn't it? And this beautiful scenery. Mm. So it's gone 10 o'clock, although you wouldn't know it because it's still light. We've had some chats in the Bothy. Yeah, nice. With some yeah. Germans, Polish and Dutch people. <laughs> so time to brush our teeth and go to bed. Yeah. Night night Kate Raff, see you tomorrow. Night night. This is what we're looking at. So we woke up here on day three on this corner. It was really lovely. And then had a little walk up to um Corrie Hull of Buffy, which again was really nice. Just one room, not much for many people, but we hung out did we hang out there? Can't remember. Anyway, it's a nice Buffy. Walking up here, it's a really nice steady climb up, um, not too arduous and some beautiful sights, absolutely gorgeous waterfalls. <clears throat> then we come up to this side, a bit further up, and then there was a choice really which side of the uh, river to walk on, but we chose a bit of the right, a bit of the left. It's going down. It was really boggy going down, yeah. And he went down because we didn't, weren't sure if we could cross the river or not, but it was fine. And then there was a bridge into the woods. Again, really, really lovely woods. And we didn't go around the outside. We went on this path on the inside. Um, little camp spots around here that we ploughed on and got to a chill boffy. As you come out of the woods, you've got to turn right immediately or you'll miss it and carry on down the path. Really lovely Bothy, met up with everybody again there and um, two nice rooms, fires in both and they were both on, it was nice and Good. that was... We've been meeting up with these um, Dutch people and the Polish people haven't we? Yeah, who we met on the um, ferry coming over so it's been really, really nice to see, to talk about the different walks everybody's had. So that's it for day three. <laughs>